This is it, boys. The big show is on. Today is D-Day, the invasion of Europe. The Germans know we're coming. They don't know exactly when or where, but they know we're coming. You know what's harder than invading a fortified beachhead in war? Nothing. That's why the Marines do it. But the Marines are in the Pacific, so the Army's got to do it. And the Army Air Corps has got to help. We're close enough to the beaches, so we're going to fly as many missions as we can. Yes, kid. Colonel, why do our ships look like giant zebras? Orders came in yesterday to paint black and white stripes on the wings and fuselage of all Allied fighters. This is to make sure the troops on the ground can easily tell who to shoot at. Now back to business. I will lead the first show of the day at 0319 hours. My call sign is Horseback. 334 will follow, led by Captain Sabansky. Our assigned sector is between Rowan and St. Quentin. At 0630, Lieutenant Colonel Clark will lead 336 to cover the ships bombarding the beaches. Today, each squadron is to operate individually. It's not expected to be a total group show, so we will split up shortly after making landfall. Enemy aircraft are our priority, but if the Luftwaffe doesn't show, you can shoot up any road and railway traffic. Absolute radio silence is in effect, so keep your mouths shut. The weather isn't what you call ideal. In fact, it's pretty sorry, but this is what we have to work with. The boys on the ground are counting on us. Gentlemen, if at the end of the day we have successfully landed our armies in France and not one of us makes it back alive, that is okay. All right, good luck. Dismissed. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to the brand new P-51D campaign for DCS World by Reflected Simulations, Debden Eagles. We are starting mission number one here in our P-51 Mustang, and we are pushing out over the channel. It is June 6, 1944, early in the morning, and we formed up in that absolute pea soup down there. It was quite the exercise forming up with my flight when visibility was near zero. Our supercharger has just kicked on, as we can tell by that light there, and also the very distinct tone difference in our engine. I'm formed up with flight lead off to my one o'clock there, and the rest of my flight is forming up as well as we continue to climb. I suspect we are going to be feet wet relatively soon. Our flight plan brings us to the east of the Allied Armada. We are tasked with destroying any sort of German supplies that is going to try to reach the beachhead. Intercepting trains, trucks, all of that good stuff. And of course, the Luftwaffe, if they decide to show up. Weather, of course, is horrible, and it looks like... I can't tell if that's a break in the clouds, but that may be the channel. It looks like we are feet wet here. We are currently sucking fuel out of our fuselage tank. We had about 60 gallons, it looks like 55 gallons of fuel left in that tank. I'm taking fuel out of that tank first as the P-51 Mustang is a bit squirrely whenever we have fuel in the fuselage there. Once we suck that tank dry, we will start taking fuel out of our external drop tanks, which we are carrying underneath our wings. Should be a pretty interesting mission and an interesting campaign. Yep, there's the there's the British coastline. So we are about to be coast uh, feet wet. That's good to hear. No enemy air activity, and as you can see, there are quite a lot of P-51 Mustangs out there. There are four flights up in front of us, and I think three flights back here. My flight lead is QL or QPL, excuse me. So I'm gonna try to stick with him like glue throughout the sortie. Well, folks, here we have it. Our flight is officially feet wet and we are on our way to Nazi-occupied France. One thing I do want to mention in this campaign is Reflected did an amazing job sticking to the source material. These missions are as close to as how they actually happened in real life that a simulation can recreate. 
So he followed all the combat reports and all of that good stuff, which is one of the reasons the campaign really appealed to me. So some missions may be rather boring and some missions may be rather exciting and not a good way. And uh, that's just history really, which is uh, again, very appealing to me. And it's cool that we get to experience this in a flight simulator today. Of course, they're reporting that we aren't seeing any ships. We are obviously supposed to be operating under radio silence. We are not really passing over the Armada, and the Allied Air Forces had designated channels which they could fly over. So it's pretty unlikely we will see any ships right now. These designated channels were there to avoid the Allied Armada blowing the planes out of the sky. Obviously, we do have our invasion stripes for that identification purpose as well, but you can never be too careful with an invasion of the scale that the Allies put together on June 6th. We're probably about a quarter of the way over the channel. I will get back to you whenever we see the French coastline. Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. But this is the year 1944. Much has happened since the Nazi triumphs of 1940-41. The United Nations have inflicted upon the Germans great defeats in open battle, man to man. Our air offensive has seriously reduced their strength in the air, and their capacity to wage war on the ground. Our home front have given us an overwhelming superiority in weapons and munitions of war, and placed at our disposal great reserves of trained fighting men. The tide has turned. The free men of the world are marching together to victory. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck, and let us all beseech the blessing of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. There it is, folks, breaking the clouds. We're about to cross into occupied France. About to be feet dry in just a matter of seconds here. I have a reserve of fuel in the rear tank. I have about 20 gallons or so back there. I'm going to use that as a reserve. Right now we are taking fuel from the port drop tank. We'll switch over to the starboard tank here in about eight minutes or so. I'm gonna try to keep an equal distribution of fuel on either side of the aircraft. I'm not sure if we're going to start taking flak here. That is my concern. Of course, Allied paratroopers have already landed at this point. So the Germans <laughs> definitely know something is up. Uh, and here we are to cause even more chaos. As a matter of fact, gun sight, let's go ahead and turn it on. There we go. And we're going to lower that brightness because it's like a flashbang in these low light conditions. And that is the code word to commence operations. No anti-aircraft fire just yet. I suspect it would be rather hard for them to spot us with this thick cloud cover. Engine temps are looking good at this point. I am going to switch over to the right tank for a little bit. 
And we'll turn up the cockpit lights just a little bit more. Making sure everything is looking good. I do not want my engine to cook over France right now. Thankfully, there is a sea rescue just in case we need to be, you know, picked up from the drink there. And maybe we will find a ship <laughs> below cloud level that we can uh, crash land next to. I plan on making it home, though. Okay, it looks like we are about to go beneath the clouds. Let's get ready to drop. And here we go. Okay, lights are going on. Throttle back. Lights on. The horn's going off. That's fine. All right, stay with flight lead. And look at this. This is awesome. Okay. Give it a little bit of power now. Airspeed 400 miles per hour. Okay, entering the clouds now and the rain. You see the raindrops slamming against the canopy here. Don't want to go too fast, though, and slam into the ground. Stay in formation. Nice and easy. Oh, boy. When are we going to pull out of this? It is getting quite dark. Okay. I see ground. We're pulling up. All right, pull up. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, stick with flight lead. We're reorganizing a little bit. Okay, lights off. Lights are off. There's flight lead. I am <laughs> booking it past them. Slow up just a little bit. Stay in formation. There we go. We'll get back in formation here. Wow, that, that was pretty cool. About to fly into, it looks like, another storm. Visibility is about to get really poor, I have a feeling. Wait, yeah, look at this rain here. All right, just stick with leader. It's quite difficult now that our lights are off for very good reasons. Another thing I need to worry about is inevitably we are going to have to climb out of this. All right, getting real dark. Throttle up a little bit just to stay with them. RPM 2600. Check engine temps. Good. No flak. Have not been shot at just yet. I'm sure it's only oh hitting Flightly's prop wash there. I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Looks like we're changing course. Stick with lead. So I may have encountered a small problem. My right hand drop tank here is not feeding properly. Whenever I switch it over, it cuts out, uh, which is mildly concerning. Well, let's see. 
Maybe it was just a one-off thing. Could be some sort of mouth. Nope, yep, it's not feeding. Okay, so let's start switching to main tanks. Let's switch to the right-hand main tank. For the time being. That is an interesting problem that my Mustang has. That's okay. Probably a pretty common malfunction, all things considered, with these drop tanks. I'm sure there's a way I could troubleshoot that. Okay, that is the other group of Mustangs. I'm sure there's a way I could troubleshoot this uh, drop tank not feeding right. I need to look into that if there is a way. Although chances are, I mean, these aircraft were prone to have malfunctions like that, so I would not be surprised. Let me check how much is in my reserve. Yep, yeah, right at 25 gallons, so my center of gravity is nice and even, all things considered. So far, oh, look at that. There's something way out there. A fire off in the distance. Let's see if we end up heading that way. Train? All right, we're going. I think I see it. Lights on the deck, 12 o'clock. Okay, things are a little toasty. Let's bring it back a bit. kind of cruise here and bring my manifold pressure down to 40 inches just for a little bit as we move towards that train yeah I see just some lights off the nose very dim that could be it very hard to tell at this point though okay temps coming back down I lost them. Guns armed though. Things are good. Radiators are automatic. I'm debating just opening them up all the way. Open them for a second. There he is. Okay, back to auto. Okay, leader just strafed them, go in. Strafe the hell out of it. All right, pull out. No idea where flight lead, okay, we're being shot at. Okay, peel left. Second Mustang's engaging. Okay, now temp's really good. Really cold. <laughs> Make sure both are back to automatic. They should be. There we go. Back to auto. Just want to avoid overheating my engine. Okay, temp's coming back up. We're good. Train does not seem to be disabled at this point. He's just sitting there. We'll come in and do another strafing run. I have officially lost flight leader, unfortunately, though. 
I'm expecting we are going to make multiple passes. You know what? Want to just embody that flyboy mentality and we're going back in. Want to crack the locomotive open. Throttle back. That's the other flight. Let's see, yeah, short shots are landing kind of short. There we go. That's tearing into them. Got something. Okay, another Mustang's lighting him up. There he is. I think uh, that's the reason I lost them. They're peeling off to the right and I went left. That's okay. We'll reform. We'll find a way to do it. Oh, man. Train's still intact. Okay. Okay, they've flipped on their lights. One more pass. Because I'm greedy. And then we'll uh, flip on our lights and get out of here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Good. There we go. All right. Lights on. Eyes on, my friends. There they are. That must be flight lead off to the left. Gosh, look at this. Just the moonlight is phenomenal. Okay. All right. I'm glad we cracked that train open. Do not want whatever was on that train reaching our boys on the beaches. All right, come around. There we go. Okay, we can turn the gun side off. And our lights, yep, lights are flipping off, lights off. Somehow I feel like it's gotten significantly darker. Okay, this is number four off to my two. Try to stick with him. I've lost sight on flight lead actually. Okay, let's go 47 inches of manifold pressure, bring up the RPM, 2700. There we go. Looks like we're in a uh, blind formation here. I don't want to get directly behind them though. Prop wash is nasty. We're quite lucky we haven't been shot at just yet. Haven't flown directly over a flak battery or something and gotten blown out of the sky, which is nice. And wow, it's really dark. Let me switch fuel tanks now. Flugzeug gesichtet! Los, los, los! Ich lade nach! Whoa, Tracer on the deck. Uh, avoid that. Oh boy. It's a little close. 
Uh oh. I think it's flight lead that was hit. Okay, we're going home. Hello, this is Horseback. Officer, Hancock Weather, Staff, return to base. Over. Uh, Roger, come with me, returning to base. We are in a steady climb now through this just absolute storm at this point engines looking good all things considered We're just trying to keep eyes on them i can just see their exhaust that's really the easiest way to track my flight it's so freaking dark i'm hoping that once we inevitably climb through the clouds they'll turn on the lights again that would be nice i'm sure they will do that for us We'll find out though. I'm pretty close to him. It's just so dark that visibility makes it really hard. Hello, Colgate. This is Caboose 1 1, transmitting for a six. 1 2 3 4 5 4 3 2 1. Over to you. Hello, Caboose 1 1, our heading home is 3 3 7, 68 miles. Over. Caboose 1 1 to Colgate. 337, are you sure? It seems a bit off to me. Can you check again, please? Bill Gates, Caboose 11, that's affirmative. Vector 337, give us further transmission until you find a familiar landmark. Roger, thank you. Okay, there's my flight. Found him. I was climbing significantly harder than them. As it is kind of hard to keep up with the DCS AI in a climb. But we're caught up now. We're doing good. Okay, we're out of the storm. Oh my gosh, we're, we're up. The sky, we see it. Amazing. Okay, come back. That'll back. Stars, 12 o'clock. Looks like the moon has set, or is obscured. Okay, this is Caboose 1-1. One, one. Do you have an updated vector? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, over. Caboose 1-1, one, one. vector home is 3, 4, 1, 42 miles. 3, 4, 1, thank you. the President of the United States. My fellow Americans, last night when I spoke with you about the fall of Rome, I knew at that moment that troops of the United States and our allies were crossing the channel in another and greater operation. It has come to pass with success thus far. And so, in this poignant hour, I ask you to join with me in prayer. Almighty God, our sons, pride of our nation, this day of set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle to preserve our public, our religion, and our civilization. Was climbing back up above the clouds, it was pretty much a straight shot back to our home in Debden. That does it for episode one of the Debden Eagles campaign. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel, especially on the first episode of a new series. I must say, I am very excited to finally be back in flight sims. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.